channel this is where i share design tips and tricks as well as some of my family travels so if you are new to the channel and you don't know me yet my name is katie and i'm very very excited to share with you another tutorial today if you would like to watch more of these videos don't forget to click the subscribe button and of course the notification bell as well so that you will be notified when a new video is up so are you ready let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial, we'll be talking about the Canva desktop. So it was recently launched and I wanted to show you a walkthrough on the features and how it compares with the browser version as well as um, in Safari and the Chrome version. So technically, there's no difference in the versions, but it's just probably the speed. I have noticed that it's faster for me to work using the desktop app already and if you are a mac user i also have a separate tutorial where i showed how to install the canva desktop on your computer so go ahead and check it out it's a video um, before this video that you are watching right now so i'm here inside the canva desktop app already so as you can see, it has its own um, browser window, technically. <laughs> All right. So um, you need to install it. And then once you install it, you need to um, log in, of course. And then right after you log in, you will see this window. This area right here on top may change from time to time, depending on um, the Canva developers. So they change this, they update it so that it's um, looking fresh as ever every time you log in. To your canva account it might last about a week i actually have not timed it so just observe um it might change from time to time all right so just like the browser version there's also um a sidebar right here where you will see all your designs and then of course the apps that are connected to your canva account and the brand kit uh, brand kit is only available for canva pro users so if you have a free account then you will only have access to the bare minimum of the brand kit so that's just um the three colors and that stuff for the color palette and well for the brand kit for pro users you will have an extensive use of um the kit so that will make your work easier and your workflow faster all right so it's basically the same there's a search bar here where you can search for designs templates and more and you can also um, click some samples right here if you want to create a design already if you don't want to search and you just want to create a letterhead for example an instagram post or a presentation then you should check this out right here now in creating your design it might also change whatever you see here. It actually shows what you clicked recently. So um, you might be seeing a different thing than what I'm seeing right now. And of course, you can also create a document or a design with custom dimension. So what do you mean by custom dimension? It's actually um, you have your own measurement. So you cannot see that in the samples. And for example, you're working on a um design that needs to be customized then you can use this area right here you just have to click and you can enter the desired width and then the height and of course the measurement please take note this is very very important because you need to use the correct dimension for you to be able to create your project now i actually received a question a while back and she was worried that she would not be able to access her um old designs already but fret not um it's not a cause of worry because you will still be using the same username and password that means whatever you have in your old account or in in the browser when you access your canva then you will also be able to use that in your Canva desktop. So if in case you change your mind and you want to use the browser, then of course, whatever change you apply here will also be um, displayed there. All right. Now, 
you might be asking why do you have to install this when you can always access it on your browser so let's go ahead and open that up so here when you use your browser so in this case i'm using safari you will have a lot of distractions so let's say you are googling some stuff you are uh, opened youtube and also if you have opened say for example your gmail or um, let's say you are watching some K-drama and all that. So whatever distraction. So while you are working on your Canva design, you also have the temptations right here to click. So basically, you don't have 100% focus on what you are working on. All right. So you understand what I mean. Now, um, if you have the Canva desktop, all you can see is just your Canva. No distractions at all because your tabs right here will only be the tabs of the designs that you are working on. So let's take a look um, at another example right here. I clicked an Instagram post and if I go back to home, if I click on Facebook video, then it appears again. All right, so you have two tabs already. Um, I would actually suggest for the colors probably to be updated because look at that. Um, it's for especially for those with um, challenged eyesight already. So this might not be uh, <laughs> this might not be conspicuous or it, the colors are just really very. Um, Open, uh, transparent that is so i can't really recognize sometimes if i if i'm looking at it a bit far from my um laptop then i can barely see the difference between the window that i clicked or the tab that i click for that matter and the one that is not chosen so you can toggle in between the tabs so there and then if we go here let's say we want to have a presentation so another tab will open so probably i would suggest for the colors to be darkened a little bit um as opposed to the lighter background so that um it will be quite conspicuous and more noticeable all right so there you go um that's how you check your tabs right here and of course like um in the past you can also change the file name so we are here in our instagram post and if we change this let's say um empowered women all right because this is what i want to put here <laughs> there as you can see the first part of your um tab name um will be changed to the file name that you input right here now if we go to the facebook video um let's say um ads for client one there you go um notice right here that if i click it will be updated as well. So the second half of the tab will actually show what file or what kind of file you are working on. So as in here, we we can see in the first part, the file name that we chose, and then the second part will show um, what file type or what document type we are um, working on, like Facebook video for this instance. All right. So um, if we go here in the presentation area, let's say project um, presentation, as you can see, instead of untitled design, it will show project presentation on the tab already. Okay, so now let's go back to um, this one. It's the same thing. If you want to add a page, you just click on here in order for you to add one. And then what I'm going to do right now is to actually um, add a third page just so I can show you. And then I will remove the background. So we have a white background right now. And I will go to photos so that I can show you that even on the Canva desktop, you can still remove backgrounds. All right. So let's um, take, for example, this photo. All right. So let me just adjust. All right. So there you go. It's quite obvious already that it has a background. Now to, to remove the background, all you need to do is just to select it and then click on effects. And then here you will see background remover. So free users of Canva may not have this feature activated and it's only available for Canva Pro users as of now. All right, so I'm going to click on background remover and the artificial intelligence for removing the background will work its magic and it's going to remove the background for us. So we'll just have to wait. There you go. 
the background has been removed already and as you can see it's all clear white right now um when you actually um save this uh, make sure that you save it as png so that the background will stay transparent if you save it as jpeg then you will have a white background for this certain image all right so what else um as you can see um we are using an instagram post so we can see music and we can see videos as well so music may not appear on other forms of um design so if we choose like say a letterhead let me show you um that music will disappear because of course a letterhead will not have a music together with it when you, you when you print it or when you send it so um even for resumes um for um what what else what other files for um posters for brochures then the music will disappear right here so take note of that the music will only appear if you are producing presentations um some social media designs and all that stuff so there you go that's just a little tour of how the canva app works or canva desktop uh, works um it's the same thing right here you can still upload stuff so i have uploaded some information right here or some documents right here i'm using the browser and i can see them um still using my canva desktop so you don't have to worry nothing will be removed um also in the sharing field you can still share like usual there's not much of a learning curve when when you will be using your canva desktop already because it's basically the same thing the only difference is that it already has its own space so all right so again that's a welcome um change actually i'm really really excited about this um i'm just hoping that this is also um, available offline but for now i've tested it already and it's not available offline you need to have internet connection for you to be able to run this so maybe in the future they would implement that but for now you won't be able to access this while you are offline it's actually gonna ask you to connect to the internet in order for it to open all right so i guess that's just about it right now this is just a little walkthrough if you have any questions on how you can use the new canva desktop please feel free to leave a comment and i'll make sure to answer so um again that's just a little overview of how the canva desktop works or looks like so that you will be familiarized uh, same features or maybe some of the features in your browser may not appear right here but for sure it will appear in the next few days as canva tries to develop it and makes our workflow so much easier and makes designing so much um, less of a hassle for everyone so if you have not subscribed to um, canva pro you may um, avail of the free 30 days trial so i'll put the link on the description box below as well um that's free 30 days you will save 12 dollars and 95 cents so go ahead and try it so that you can experience the convenience of having a canva pro account as well so that's it for me today have a great day or night wherever you are goodbye now <music>